Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the regular sitting of the parliament of Western Armenia took place. Six servicemen of the armed forces of Armenia were surrounded and captured by the Azerbaijani forces while carrying out engineering works. China supports Armenia's territorial integrity and sovereignty, consultations between foreign ministries. The program of providing the resettled population with housing is in progress. Bloomberg Support for Erdogan's ruling party hits record low. Bashar al-Assad is the leader of presidential elections in Syria. The Urerchen Bagesh castle of Western Armenia is being reconstructed. Today's Gevork Chavos Remembrance Day. The regular setting of the Parliament of Western Armenia took place. The head of the Parliament, Leonardo Basmajian, led the setting. The Parliament accepted the Javak issue discussed since the previous week. A series of organizational issues related to the June-July upcoming events were among these issues. Let us remind that the regular setting of the Government of Western Armenia will be held today. Early in the morning of May 27, six servicemen of the armed forces of the Republic of Armenia were surrounded and captured by the Azerbaijani armed forces while carrying out engineering works in the territory of N military unit under the armed forces of Armenia, in the bordering area of Gegarkunik region. Necessary measures are being undertaken to return the captured servicemen. Political consultations took place between the foreign ministers of Armenia and China on May 26. The consultations were co-chaired by Armenian Deputy Foreign Minister Avet Adons and Deputy Foreign Minister of China Lei Yucheng. As Armen Press was informed from the press service of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, during the consultations, the sides discussed the broad scope of international, regional and bilateral issues. The Armenian Deputy Foreign Minister presented in detail the situation caused by the inflirtation of Azerbaijani armed forces into the sovereign territory of Armenia. Deputy Foreign Minister of China Lei Yucheng noted that China supports the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Armenia, emphasizing that the full implementation of the November 9 trilateral declaration is the guarantee for regional security and stability. The program of providing housing with the necessary household appliances to the resettled population in different communities of Artsakh, initiated by the Ministry of Labor, Social and Resettlement Affairs of Artsakh is in progress. The ministry reported via Artsakh Press, informing that three houses in Dashoshan village, one in Krasny, were given to our compatriots who left their houses in Hadrut, Kashatakh, and Avetaranots. The next is Lusadzor and Ashani Martuni, where furniture and household items will be provided to five residential houses. The program continues to work for the people of Artsakh, who have expressed a desire to live in different communities of Artsakh, whose settlements have remained under the control of the enemy. Support for the ruling Justice and Development Party of Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan hit a record low in April, Bloomberg reported. Kansel Tsuki, head of the Istanbul-based sociological agency Turkiye Raporu, noted that Erdogan's sacking of the central bank's head in March was a watershed moment for voters. Erdogan fired Nasi Akbal after less than five months of work due to political differences which caused the Turkish lira to fall by more than 16%. Since then, the lira has dropped to an all-time low. Up to 27% of Turkish population are unable to meet their basic needs, according to a monthly public survey conducted in April by Metropol. The AKP support rating is now 27%, excluding undecided voters, the lowest for a ruling party since its inception. The results of presidential elections in Syria are being summed up. 80% of voters took part in the voting. As Russia24 reported, the voting was postponed for five hours because of high participation. The election took place without incidents with the participation of international observers. Currently, the leader of the election is Bashar al-Assad. The Adiljavas castle in Bagaish, Western Armenia, built during the Urarchan period, served different civilizations and is stable till now. The castle will be turned into a tourist attraction. According to Adil Jeva's mayor, there will be a unique scene after the reconstruction. The castle is 3,000 years old. A platform will be built in order to watch Lake Van with its unique beauty. Gevork Chavush was born in 1870 in Matank village of Psanans province, Sasun, Western Armenia. He studied in the school of St. Garabet Monastery in 1886-88. to 88. 
which was turned into an idea generating center through the efforts of his teacher Hovanes Muradzian. He got military education in Arabos group. He took part in Sassoon's self-defense battles in 1891 to 1894. After the defeat of the Sassoon rebellion in 1894, he was arrested and imprisoned in Bitlis, among other Fideins, then in Mush. Gevorg escaped from prison, took refuge in Sassoon, then joined Gurgen's and Harai's teams. He organized the murders of traitor Ave and Kurt Khalil Bey in 1900. He headed the Bertag battle in April and Norsham battle in December, took part in the Battle of Holy Apostles Monastery in 1901. Gevork Chavush headed the self-defense forces of Ishkhanadzor and Talvarik villages of Sassun in 1904. Armenians fought it in Shenik on April 11, in Merger on 14 and 15 and in Gelegozun on 17. The Turks started to attack Armenians. The latter left Gelegozun and continued the battle until May 14. In order to avoid European interference, the Turkish authorities gave up the intention of exterminating Armenians of Sassun. He left for Taron in 1904. Gevork died on May 27 in the Suluk battle. Now we present you Nerses Ispidian to the memory of Gevork Chavush. <laughs> Sasno Haraza Kanun Metskaji Toneba Zamashkar Mahvan Geborki Sasno Haraza Kanun Metskaji The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.